Hey everybody, welcome back to Binary Domain. I wonder if there's anything I can put on bow. No. Ah, bulletproof skin wall. Oh, great, that... There, more defense. Oh, no, Better watch out for an enemy ambush. Sniper, take cover. Look, a sniper rifle. Use it. Return fire. Where's the sniper? I'll act as a decoy while you take those snipers out. Hang on, hang on. Take out those snipers. My life's in your hands, brother. Here goes nothing. Hang on, I got some strapping to do. This is for me, though, so fuck that. Really? Rate of fire... That's kind of shit. Sniper at three o'clock. Shit, there's no end to this. Sniper at eleven o'clock. Shooting, brother. I guess we bit off more than we could chew. Ah, 
That's a jackpot. What? Are you shot from behind? Okay, um, how much money do we got? There's another one. Yo, here. rendezvous point ain't far now. Finally get to meet our new British friend. Phillips said the guy's ex MI6, a real agent, not some pencil pusher. So watch your back, all right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Multinational unit sounds all fine and dandy, but everyone's got their own agendas, and that includes us, you and me, brother. We trust each other and nobody else. It is what it is. Whoa, listen to me. We getting old, brother. Stop me if I'm boring you. Thanks, brother. But you don't have to get all soft on me. All right, enough chatter. Let's get busy. Can I upgrade my pistol? Another greeting party. So let's say hello. Never heard the word overkill. 
Shock troopers, watch out! Problemo! Oh, no, 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 they're human. And how in the hell can you tell that? How in the hell can't you? Look at them. They're just kids. Huh. Weapon scavengers. Never seen them start this young. Nice guns. I could get a lot of money for those. Why don't you hand them over? Kid, it's two on one. And these guns are way bigger than yours. <laughs> huh? Okay, they're pointing guns at us, kill them all. So much for two on one. Just... Yeah. You know, killing kids isn't my idea of fun. How many credits are they worth? No. Utsuno, do sunno? Iyo, mo kurushichou yo, nii-chan. They ain't green. Reckon they wanna light us up. I wonder what their parents would be thinking of them now! Hey! I said to drop your weapons! Are you deaf? It wasn't quite finished. Happens sometimes with scrapheads. Seen a lot of good soldiers taken out like that. Now you were saying about our guns? Nah, I figure we owe you one now. So I've changed my mind. Well, how about that? <laughs> Pretty dangerous work for kids. We do what we have to. Resistance pays good money for these scraphead weapons. Food on the table, you know. You should find a new line of work for these kids. Seems like most of them have forgotten how to smile. Oh, yeah. Let's just stand on some moral fucking high ground. It's like, hey, what else is there to do? You're in a fucking war zone. Mr. Hey, Force any of us has a choice. Exactly. Look around you, Yankee man. No future. Come on, Dan. Ain't nothing we could do. Bourgeois motherfucker. Uh, you know, you should find a new line of work. This is all dangerous and it's stuff the for kids. I mean, I don't you know that the city's kind of fucking wrecked. You're getting hit by artillery. There's a fucking, like, civil war and shit going on. Well, you know, you should really you should really find a new line of work for these Damn, kids. Damn, look at this place. Anyone attacks now, we're gonna look like burger patties. Well, all part of the thrill, right, brother? You got some cojones. But all you gotta do is look up. This whole joint's looking to come down on our heads anytime. Can I pick up the ammo? Tell you, man. Live around here long enough and we all wind up looking like them kids back there. 
Can I have the no ammo hope, now? No future. How did it all end up this way, man? Oh, I guess I have full ammo. Or do I? Yeah, I guess I have full ammo. Oh yeah, because I... Base? Where's that Rondi? Should be at your two o'clock. Look for a flashlight. Over there! Man needs new batteries. It's Morse code. I ain't seen that in years. What's next? Smoke signals? Well... Whoa! We got company! Okay. <laughs> Let's give them a warm welcome. They're in the air, too! This is bullshit! I got the aerial units. Gonna blast them out of the sky! Yes, we get it. You're up there. Oh, oh shit. Don't this boy ever get tired? I can fly? Something shit is, at least there hasn't been any cute yet. That scrap head is really starting to bump me. Fire in the hole! Shit! Oh, whoa!本部長、六本木でもレッドアラートです。警備行動中のグランダーサから木の停止信号。堤防に侵入した連中だな。え、そのようです。グランダーサを倒したのか。えらく重装備で来たもんだ。本部長、お台場での画像です。肌の密入国
British division. Yeah. X and my six, right? I kind of guess that. Is it supposed to be me? Yeah. We all are. This is Lieutenant Rachel Townsend. Hmm. Sergeant Dan Marshall, ex-Special Forces. Sergeant Roy Botan, ditto. So, I'm to babysit you two then, yeah? Think you can stay out of trouble in future? What can I say? They started it. East to be the one. At London Clear Base. Sorry to burden you with my clowns. No disrespect intended, sir, but you Yanks do tend to make a lot of noise. No to me. Not all of us, Gregory. Just those two. So, where's everybody else? Well, the French are already inside the city. Surrendering. They said there'd be a Chinese squad, too. The file photo doesn't do her justice. She looks familiar. Reminds me of an actress or someone. Come on, Bo, you know the only movies you watch are porn. <laughs> oh, yeah, right, with the... Mm, yeah. Hey, watch this. <laughs> Excuse me. Hi, I'm Dan. You kicked and in the that dick. is my partner, Bo. Ni hao. Ah, the strong and silent type, huh? I like that in a woman. Maybe if you pair learnt some manners, she might not be so silent. Yeah, rough with the smooth, man. So, this is all China sent, huh? Just one woman? I am First Lieutenant Fei Li of the People's Liberation Army. My two subordinates were killed by security robots on the way here. Aw, oh, shit, listen. We didn't mean no disrespect. Hard to believe you're the one they called a survivor. Well, appearances can be deceiving. Ain't that special. Just real lucky. No luck? Well, that's good. Because we could all do with a bit of luck. Because the Japs consider anyone without official ID as an invading hostile. So, we're all in the crosshairs. Speaking of, sir, we'd better get moving. Wait. Right, beta 1 to base. Now moving to first contact rendezvous. Roger well, that. Why should we... Why should we run? That means our paychecks are some local again. help in the Shibuya flood zone. It's this way. So, are you all gonna run my crosshairs and then have trust issues with me? The 21st century started off pretty bad, and only got worse. Sea levels rose. Climate went to hell. Three quarters of the major cities around the world were flooded, ruined, and uninhabitable. Local and national authorities rebuilt upward, above the waterline. Whole new cities, using the old as foundations, and leaving the lower layers, the flood layers, to rot and decay. But a lot of people had already died as the world collapsed. Who was going to build these incredible new structures? Robots. I call them scrapheads. But then, I've never been a fan. Not that anyone cares what I think. Fact is, we needed robot labor like never before. One company rose to dominate the market. Bergen Advanced Robotics Technology, from the USA. Bergen has a 95% share of the global robotics industry. Of course, they didn't get there without ruffling a few feathers. Most famously, the Amida Corporation in Japan sued Bergen for stealing its technology. But by then, Bergen was already huge, and Amida lost its case. That was the last obstacle between Bergen and world domination. Thanks to them, the USA is now the global superpower. In 2040 AD, the world's remaining economic concerns ratified the new Geneva Convention. One of the most controversial parts of it was Clause 21 which banned research into robots that could pass for human, or hollow children, as the media called them. Forty years later, a hollow child attacked Bergen's headquarters in the USA. He didn't just fool the humans. He seemed to have no idea he was a robot himself. 
I'm Sergeant Dan Marshall. I work for the IRTA, the International Robotics Technology Association out of Geneva. The IRTA set up a global task force called Rust Crews to deal with breaches of the convention, especially Clause 21. We've got full support from the U.S. military, which is where I used to work anyway. Mm, shotgun. <laughs> Some things never change. And that's how me and my partner Bo ended up in Japan. Because the U.S. suspects the hollow child who turned up in America was made by Yoji Amada, legendary robotics genius and the founder of Amada Corporation. We're here to arrest Amada and take him to Geneva at any cost. That means we get to knock out any scrapheads that try to stop us along the way. <laughs> I sure hope they try. So you just don't like robots, so you got a murder motor for all robots. Yeah, why don't you just come out and say, this is my tragic backstory and why I don't like robots, instead of just being like, eh, I never really liked robots. It's just like, okay, so you're a prejudiced dick against synths. Alright, whatever. Right, we split the two teams from here onwards. One in the front, one bringing up the rear. At least one team makes it through should the worst happen. Yeah, well, I don't like hanging back, so I'll take point. Might I remind you that I'm in command here? Not that I expect pulling rank would benefit your attitude. So, pretty offensive for your team, Sergeant. Heavy gunner. Various explosives. I should bring you just to piss you off, just so I can fuck fuck with you. Very explosive RPG sniffer whiffle. Eh, try this. All right, let's go. Our contact is waiting. He's rather chipper. What, what, old boy? <laughs> and what if we get busted by some scrapheads again? Shoot them. That's what you Yanks are best at, isn't it? Huh. See? It's not so bad. Okay. You don't have shit. Okay. So he has basically frag grenades. Over here! Over here, motherfucker! Yo, Dan, did you hear? They got geisha girls in this slum. Did you know that? You've always been quick with news like that. Yo, Charlie, don't forget you promised to take us to that bar. Yes, I'll take you if the mission ends safely. <laughs> now that's some real motivation. Surveillance bots. The pairs, they're searching for us. Should I shoot them?
Auto repair one, damn. Eh, I was sick with my defense ups. Actually, it's only ten percent health. Money. Our route takes us through there. Stay sharp, people. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta do some shopping. Buy me a new fucking iPhone. Some shit. What does your thing do? Eh, nothing special. Mine's better than yours. I do think I want to change this is over to type G, uh, type R thing. It doesn't go where it, it, it's nice having it, having it home in on things, but, oh, that's 60 more damage. Oh, I'll buy that for a dollar. Salt necks at 12 o'clock. They don't appear to have noticed us yet. Let them close in, then take the initiative. Hold your fire until I give the cue. Understood? Good. Take cover. Some nasty customers. You trying to kill me or what? Never surrender to this. No, I am not trying to kill you.
fucking sniper rifles in the sock. But <clears> there <throat> may be a chance point that I might need it. Let's finish this! Finish what? Where? Rendezvous point with our contact should be around here. Let's tidy up first. Fine. Take cover! With that thing's armor, our guns won't dent it. We'll have to think of something else and fast! Where? That electrical cable to good use. Charlie, are you okay? It takes more than this to keep me down. Hold up, guys. Need to go shopping. I need to go shopping. Let's see here. I can do with another bio, bo, bosonic charge. I guess we bit off more than we could chew. Really? What am I going for? Yeah, fine, bro. This ain't enough. Electrical cable to good use. Okay. Yes. Uh, how far, Sergeant? Now we can do some Ooh. damage. Aim for that section where Miss Armor was stripped off. Shit! This is one tough mother. Thank you. Do you read? No need to shout. I read you loud. Got a badass friend Lancer here. How do we lower the boom? I think I can help. Our intelligence office just sent some data on that model. Yeah? It's an outlet that already. It seems its drive system is in its head. 
destroy that. Stop is dead in his track. Yeah, so what's our best chance for a solid headshot? I'll leave the details. Yeah. Good luck. So we gotta unload on this ugly mug? Hear that, people? It's heads, it's weak point. So how are we gonna take out his drive system? I know. Dan, think you can get onto its head from the roof? We'll get it over to the building for you. All you gotta do is time to jump. Well, I wish you would have said something about that before I dropped like 400 rounds into his head. Sergeant, get back on that! Dan, shoot right there until that mother gets close enough. Now, Dan, jump! What the fuck is it? That's it, Sergeant, hang on! Oh, that was certainly tougher than expected. Of course, if we can't handle the enemy down here in the slums, we may as well pack it in. I'm sure this is nothing compared to what we'll face in the upper city. Still, if this was an easy job, they wouldn't have called us in. So on we go, all right? Good. This crew was selected because we all have distinct skill sets. You do have a skill set, right, Sergeant? Then we'll be counting on you. Believe it or not, I do have some faith in you. Yo, check out the teacher's pet. <sighs> Bop it up. Oh, price increases. Pat on the head for you, brother. That's enough. We don't want to keep our contact waiting. What the? Oh, okay. Good job, guys. You fell off the damn roof. Where the fuck are we going now? The rendezvous point with our contact is beyond this shutter. Let's move. Oh. Oh, yeah, I can go up here. But there might be. Ooh. Ooh. This. Oh. Superhero landing. <laughs> well, you know, I'll be with you momentarily. I found rockets. Be honest, my assault rifle is basically a machine gun as is. have a secondary weapon I never use, it might as well be that. Ah! 
Mrs. Gregory, we've reached the objective. Rendezvous here. Roger that. Why do people like you always make so much noise? Bit of an occupational hazard, that is. Here to see Mafune. Tell him Charlie's here. Never heard of you? Never heard of him. Can't help you. Your, your, your order, please. One of my regulars did a number on him. Huh. You gonna fix him? What's the point? He'll get bashed in again. Nice to know you're appreciated, huh? trouble. Just trying to make a living here. I'll take a beer. Well, shit, pretty lady. All you have to do is ask. Uh, sushi's on the house. Thank you. So, now maybe you can tell us, where's Mifune, son? I told you. I never heard of him. Die! We don't have time to piss about. Where is Mifune? He's here. What? He's watching us through this scrap head. Not bad, Yankee man. Don't blame the barkeep. He didn't know. Mifune? What the bloody hell is this? Change of plans. Head for the underground mall. I'll have someone meet you there. Unbelievable. What's your name, Yankee Man? Dan. Why? I've got my eye on you, Dan. <laughs> See? Waste the money! Right, I've set coordinates to the objective. Let's go. Oh, uh, do me a favor and use the back door. You people don't exactly blend in around here. Thanks, brother. Base to Beetle 2. Our intel says Mifune is a smuggler. Specializes in weapons and technology banned in Japan. That sounds typical. That all you got? Afraid so. Mifune isn't even his real name. All we've got to go on is his rep. Yeah, don't sweat the details, base. Just leave it to me. You know something I don't, Gregory? Well, I don't know, Major. Do you have extensive operational experience dealing with underworld crooks? Just be careful. All of you. Base out. You're right. I'm liking this guy more and more. All right, let's go. Mifune is waiting. Oh, don't tell me their their trust goes down if I don't put them in the squad. Yeah, at least I got my rocket launcher. What is this place? Some form of supply depot, by the looks of it. Rather run down, though. Door's not opening anytime soon. It appears to be inoperable. We'll need to blow the door off. No! Oi, come look at this. Uh, the service robot still has some battery charge left. Welcome. Thank you for coming. Do you require our charging service? Fill that tank there with fuel. See that you top it off. As you wish. Shit! Transport! 
module has completed. Thank you for your patronage. Okay, I'll move the fuel tank. You watch my back. Well, you can't hold that charge for too long. Danny boy, a freaking star, man. Thing that threatens us. The tank is in position. Damn, aim for the fuel tank. I would aim for the fuel tank. This will be. I have a different weapon really quick. Damn, aim for the fuel tank. Give me a fucking second. Do I have any new upgrades for my gun? Uh... 
I uh, need to save my money. All right, let's move it, folks. All right, Bo, what do I get for you? Can I turn that? I don't see why I can't turn that to the side. Our intel says my food is under the station. Let's head over there. Hey, what are God you trying to do? That is your own goddamn fault. Never, never have a fucking system uh, in something like this based off fucking friendly fire. It's fucking retarded. Because the AI is going to walk in front of your goddamn gun. And then they're going to get penalized for it. That is absolute fucking bullshit. Wait. There's something. Where's your grenade launcher? You haven't been to 40 millimeter. Forty millimeter shells. You got to be kidding me. Nah, it's Japan. <laughs> okay, so they got mobile armor. Oh, man. Big wolf. That's a good times roll. You have a very twisted sense of fun, Sergeant. Hope and fire! Okay. Didn't sign up for this shit. shit. Run! <laughs> Taking damage from Dan, uncontrolled cutscenes. I better not. Okay, never mind. Game sucks now. It has quick time event. Game sucks. Fucking absolute horseshit. I didn't sign up for this shit. And I have to redo this entire fucking section. Yeah, uh-uh, okay, yeah. Any, any little bit of goodwill I had towards the game is automatically Damn, just run. fucking gone now. Yeah. Fucking quick time events. Nope. Bad enough that, you know, even though I told it to give me the fucking controller props, it's still giving me keyboard props. So no, there's a goddamn quick, goddamn quick time event. Time events are fucking inexcusable. <laughs> Especially ones that fucking set you back. This way! We'll escape through the alley! The only time a QTE. Shit! A bloody great spider! I didn't see that coming! It seems the Ministry of Homeland Affairs is stepping things up. From here on, security can only get tighter. Oh, whoop de fucking do. Really? So I suppose we should all just fall in line behind you, should we? Our resident expert? But maybe we should. After all, they call you the survivor for a reason, right? Let's 
save your thanks for after the mission, Sergeant. Also, kind of creepy. All right, let's go. And avoid fighting that monstrosity if possible. Got it? I understand your reluctance to retreat, Sergeant, but we're simply not equipped to take that thing on. So let's go. Yeah. You seem there's only one way we can go now. The thing that would be up into this me. building. I want revenge. Uh, seriously, the only time QTEs are even remotely acceptable is if it's something like, what was that? Dead, dead, or not, not dead by daylight, that's that fucking asymmetrical thing, uh, until dawn, something like that. Then again, that's nothing but QTEs, there's like no actual gameplay in that, so, I mean... Ugh, that's basically just a glorified visual novel. But other than that, I mean, come on, it's fucking... Oh no, looks like Charlie's butt hurt. Pfft. He's not really... Eh, I think I'll just take the fucking bull dyke with a shotgun next time I get to pick. Uh, anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Adios.